Hey guys, it's Jamie and I finally have a book haul for you. It's been a little bit since we've had one, mostly because I haven't had enough books to actually do a book haul. The first book that I received is called Not a Fan by Kyle Eidelman. I believe this was published in 2011. It's pretty much about not just watching Jesus from the sidelines. It says that the dictionary defines a fan as an enthusiastic admirer. So this book challenges you not to just be an admirer, but actually sacrifice something in your life. Actually go out and follow Jesus, not watch from afar being like, that's a good guy. No, but giving your life to follow him. So excited to read this by Kyle Eidelman, Uncle Tom's Cabin by Harriet Beecher Stowe. This book was published in 1852. I don't know if you get excited about publishing dates like I do. I don't know. I just love finding books that are still in print and still in circulation that were written such a long time ago. It's like we're a part of history reading these stories and learning from these people and I just get really excited when I find old books that are still good. If you've been with me from the very beginning, my first book review was a child's intro to poetry and I told you that I wanted to get more books from that series. I have a child's intro to po poetry, which is, we've already read that one. I just got a child's intro to the orchestra, which we're going to go through, and this, a child's intro to the night sky published in 2004 this was in our library's bookstore and i probably audibly gasped when i found it because i told you guys i am interested in this series in these books because they just briefly go over a lot of different subjects that kids would be interested in and I want to get more of their books, so I was excited to find this. The Battle of the Labyrinth, part of the Lightning Thief series. Well, the series is actually called Percy Jackson and the Olympians. This is book four. It was published in 2008. There is Madeline Le Ingle. I don't know. I'm sorry. Madeline Le Ingle, An Acceptable Time. This is book five in the Wrinkle in Time series, published in 1989. But look at this cover. Isn't it beautiful? And here's the rest of them. You can see on the back. I guess they got reprinted recently. When I saw this, I just saw her name and I was like, oh. And sure enough, it was one of the Wrinkle in Time series. I didn't know that there were five books. I know there were at least two, maybe three, but I just found out that there are actually five. So I have the very last one. I need to get the other four. Hunger Games. This was published in 2008. This was published in 2009. So I am only missing Mockingjay. I do not have Mockingjay, but here we go. I don't know how soon I'm going to get to read them, but when I saw them, I'm like, I can't just not, these were 50 cents. 50 cents each for so a dollar for the two of them I'm like I'm not going to look they're 13 bucks bought at regular price for 50 cents come on I had to get them the last book is fables by Arnold Lobel and again if you've been watching my videos we've talked a lot about Arnold Lobel because my son is learning to read right now and he's been reading a bunch of his books if you've been watching, we've talked about how Arnold Lobel illustrates as well as writes. He writes and illustrates his own books and illustrates for other books. So when I saw this, I was happy to pick it up to add to my collection of Arnold Lobel books. So that is the last of all the books I had on this book haul. I was excited to share them with you and let me know what you're reading. What books have you been picking up? Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.